Hello, today I wanted to try and record a quick tip for Stardust, uh, working on integrating some of the elements that you would like to create into scenes, whether that is uh, cameras that you have tracked, or in this case, I shot a very simple setup uh, on my table in my house, and I just created a camera from the perspective that I thought kind of matched it close enough just to track in some graphics. So here I have a card that is being kind of tossed across the table and I went ahead and made a null and just hand tracked animated it to kind of line up to what was happening with the, the card that I wanted to attach graphics to. So nothing fancy there, but what I've done in this setup is something that I found in my workflows that has kind of helped me kind of work faster or add extra elements to scenes. So in the scene, if you look, I have one emitter with two particle rendering types and it has a replica. So if we go to the emitter, you can see what I've done is I have zeroed out my origin X and Y and I have created a transform node and also have zeroed out the anchor point so that they match. So basically everything is starting at zero, which, uh, gives us a nice foundation to then change our values for our X, Y, Z, and rotations if you needed. Um, so in this case, I have attached the transform. I've picked up the values for the X, Y, and Z and parented those to the uh, null that I have animated and it creates everything. And so that what that helps with is if the scene got complex and I had added in more emitters, you don't have to go and pick whip each of those uh, elements to your uh, position on each emitter, which I kind of find tedious. And then if you needed to uh, change those to a different, uh, you know, null or somewhere else in the scene, it could get, you know, really cumbersome where you have to go and break all those uh, connections and then reconnect them back. Or if you had just typed them in and they weren't expression controlled, uh, that would also be kind of a lot of trouble. So this is basically a way of trying to uh, ease your pain when adding elements. So let's say in this scene, I want to do, let's turn off this uh, replica just to keep things simple. Uh, let's say that we thought this was working well and we wanted to add another emitter to this. Well, following that method, I would just add a new emitter, add a particle type to it, connect the two again, so it appears kind of wherever the uh, default values would be. So it's be 960, 540 based on the uh, composition size. So if I zero this out, it will pop exactly to where my null is since this transform node is not uh, directly connected to just this emitter or particles. It's kind of uh, globally affecting everything. Uh, so that's handy. So let's say that I just wanted to create another ring. I could just uh, set this to once, maybe change this to, well, I have, uh, we'll just do ring, just keep it simple, rotate it in the 90, and we need to change our particle to be around longer. And let's set the speed to be zero. And there you have it. So now I've quickly added in another element to this scene and it's already tracked in and working with everything else. Um, so what's nice is that, you know, this could work if you had uh, 3D particles that you were hooking up to uh, emitter, the particle type was set to, oops, sorry, it's emitter. The particle type was set to model and you were working with 3D particles in that, it'll pop them exactly to where you want. Uh, it's really flexible and it makes it kind of easy again to adjust and just kind of thinking of those kind of creative adjustments that happen over the duration of a shot. And um, the other perk of this is that if say you had saved this UI that you designed worked up on another scene and you brought it in as a preset, you wouldn't have to worry about fussing with all of those connections. Again, you could bring it in and it would pop right to where it is. Cool. Well, I hope that's helpful. I hope that, um, it makes sense. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you.